Well, Robert Sala said that he was just being protective of the locker room when he mentioned those receipts he was keeping on Monday. But he says he's confident that this is not the same old Jets. Now they just need to prove it on the field. <laughs> to do that, the team is going to have to do a better job helping out Joe Flacco. The Jets dropped a league high four passes and gave up three sacks in the opening loss to the Ravens. Sala says Joe is still the quarterback, and he didn't give any serious consideration to making a change. While Flacco has to play better, Sala says this week against the Browns, the rest of the team needs to clean up the mistakes. It was more than just him. Like I said, there's the O-line, there's route running, there's their drop passes, fumbles, that stall drive. There's just a, a comedy of errors that, that just led to what looked like a bad performance by him. Now, it wasn't the best performance, but I think he's, uh, it wasn't as bad as people think it was. One way they can help out Flacco is by running the ball more. The Jets were averaging more than six yards per carry in the first half against the Ravens, but still ended up throwing the ball 59 times. They're going to need a more balanced approach if they're going to keep all pro Miles Garrett from getting to Flacco this weekend. Reporting from Florham Park, Joe Masiri, Pix 11 Sports. All right.